Welcome to Double Kini. If you are new here, my name is Catherine and I've been helping people suffering from kidney problems decreasing the risk of ending up in dialysis for almost 10 years now. And there are 5 easy steps every single kidney disease patient in stage 3B or 4 should be taking if they want a 91% success rate in avoiding dialysis for the next 5 to 7 years. This is what recent studies found out. So let's start with the first step. There is a vitamin you absolutely need to keep in the right level if you want to avoid dialysis. It's a proven fact that having an insufficiency in this vitamin will make kidney disease progress faster. On the other hand, keeping levels of this vitamin in the correct range through supplementation is one of the best things someone with kidney disease can do to lower their creatinine levels, according to studies. So our step number five is keep vitamin D at the right level. You should already be supplementing the sun vitamin. I do every day. Fact. Supplementing vitamin D3 in doses of 25 micrograms per day is especially useful for patients in stage 3 and 4 of kidney disease that want to avoid dialysis. Wait, 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 wait a moment. Now you may ask, okay, Catherine, are you seriously telling us that just supplementing a single vitamin is a step to actually decrease our risk of end-stage kidney failure and dialysis? Well, I'm not just telling you this, I will actually prove it to you. A large peer-reviewed study linked without a doubt supplementing active vitamin D to significantly lower chances of end-stage renal disease and mortality. These conclusions are extremely solid and notice that researchers link supplementing vitamin D to better chances of avoiding dialysis. So, not just keeping the levels in the correct range, but supplementing it. This is because up to 90% of people with kidney problems have low levels of this vitamin. So don't take any risk if you want to avoid dialysis. But wait a moment before starting to take vitamin D3. There is a hidden risk connected to this vitamin very few people know about. I've explained exactly how to prevent this in my video up here. What you should absolutely know is that just taking a regular multivitamin is usually not enough to keep your vitamin D levels in the correct range. For instance, you should never supplement vitamin D without also supplementing magnesium. This is because magnesium is needed in the activation of vitamin D. Magnesium is also key for better sleep and not many people know this, but sleep quality is also crucial for kidney health, especially if you can turn a good night of sleep into a good habit. Actually, there are some easy tips to improve your kidney function you may want to follow. Number four, follow these easy tips to greatly slow down kidney disease and help your kidneys. Sleep more. Yes, sleeping 7 hours or more per night is linked to a better kidney health, according to studies. Yes, just like for vitamin D, it is a proven scientific fact that sleeping more and better can help you avoid dialysis. Not to mention that you will have a lot more energy during the day if you sleep enough. Now you may tell me, that's a lot easier said than done. Guys, I've actually found a way to sleep 8 hours per night and it's as simple as drinking a glass of chamomile tea. For example, if you take a magnesium supplement right before getting to bed, it will make you relax and your sleep quality will improve. If you want to know more, watch my video up here and also consider drink water at regular intervals. Being hydrated protects the kidneys in several ways as regular water intake is needed by the kidneys to flush out excess sodium and water through urine. What many people don't know about this is that those with diabetes need this even more. Drinking enough water may help you keep your blood sugar levels within healthy limits because excess sugar is also expelled through the urine and also make exercise regularly a priority. 
fact, regular exercise is the only thing in the world that can treat drug-resistant high blood pressure, lower cholesterol and blood sugar levels at the same time. And I'm not exaggerating, regular exercise is closer to a real panacea than anything else in the world. And don't forget that even walking at a brisk pace every day and taking the stairs instead of the elevator counts as exercising. Okay, one last tip, even more important. Take your blood pressure and blood sugar levels regularly and write them down. Guys, when you start a journey to a better kidney health, the first step is always finding ways to lower your blood pressure naturally and also your blood sugar levels if you have diabetes. Focus on progress! But only lowering these levels is just half of the equation. You also need to lower your medications. And when your doctor will eventually be able to do this, your kidneys will start to improve almost immediately. This is an incredibly powerful way to put your kidney health back on track fast. And to do this, you need a health journal. I'll explain exactly how to do this in my video up here. Watch now. Now guys, it goes without saying that if you have chronic kidney disease, you should consult your doctor before taking any of the steps I recommend. Remember, safety first, and this also means that your doctor should evaluate any possible interaction between a new remedy and any medication you may be already taking. Time for the next step now. This involves using one of the most incredible remedies for chronic kidney disease. This remedy is actually supposed to completely reverse kidney disease. In this study, they recently published on the peer-reviewed International Journal this innovative formulation cured kidney disease in 10 patients, some in weeks, some in months. Let's see it. Number three, Renotech Corn Silk Base Herbal Nanomix. This remedy recently made the news because it is actually supposed to cure renal failure. Researchers from the University of Akron, United States of America have developed this herbal nanomix that has incredible results in CKD patients. This remedy is a special formulation based on corn silk that researchers scientifically engineered to protect the kidneys. This natural composition made the news because, and I quote, it is the first cure of its kind to renal failure. There is only one problem with this remedy. It is not on the market yet. This is just a prop and you still cannot buy it. Okay, now you may ask, how is this a step to avoid dialysis if we can't use it? Because now you know that they are working on something that can really help you in the near future. And every day there is something new out there that could potentially change the lives of millions of people with kidney disease. Recently, for the first time in history, patients received transplanted kidneys from pigs. The bioartificial kidney is also on its way to become the best alternative to dialysis in the next few years. Not to mention Forexiga, a new medicine that's proven to slow down kidney disease. So, it's crucial that you keep yourself updated about the news like you are doing right now. Okay, time to see the next step. This is peculiar because it's a remedy that I would recommend not just to patients in stage 4 but also to those in stage 5. Yes, this one will protect your kidneys and decrease uremic symptoms by acting as an intestinal form of dialysis. And don't worry, this is something you can actually use already. Number two, acacia fiber. This is actually the gum that's naturally exuded by the acacia tree. It's a 100% vegetable and natural non-genetically modified remedy which is often used as a food additive. When taken orally in therapeutic dosages, other than being a form of intestinal dialysis, acacia fiber is also used to help with diabetes, high cholesterol, weight loss, and high blood pressure according to studies. Now, the reason why acacia fiber is interesting to us is its ability to actually absorb uremic toxins in the intestines. Acacia fiber was actually used in several stage 5 patients who wanted to avoid dialysis. Recently, an incredible result was achieved in 9 stage 5 CKD patients. All of them were able to avoid dialysis thanks to this natural remedy. 
Patients continued to experience low urea levels and didn't develop any symptoms of uremia. Guys, we are talking about patients that needed dialysis here. This remedy alone could potentially save you from dialysis. This is a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory and it scavenges free radicals in the body while protecting you from diabetes and high cholesterol levels. I've also added a link down in the description if you want to try it. What you should know before trying it is that the dose and mode of administration is crucial for getting a result from acacia fiber. Don't try this remedy without watching my video up here. I've explained everything you need to know about this miracle remedy. Okay, time now to see the number one most important step to avoid dialysis. Now, our step number one is crucial if you are in stage 3B or 4, but literally anyone with kidney disease may benefit from it. This is also one of the few things that work regardless of the cause of kidney problems and that can even help those with a transplanted kidney. It's also a very easy step and it concerns limiting just one element in your diet. I'm talking about... Number one, the low protein diet. This is probably the most effective step towards avoiding dialysis and in many cases, reversing chronic kidney disease. I know that many of you guys are already following some form of plant-based diet and that's great and I'm doing that too. But the low protein and the very low protein diet are what your kidneys really need. This dietary approach, which is criminally underrated in the US and many other countries, could literally prolong the life of your kidneys by 10 years or more. The very low protein diet is proven to work by a large review of studies published in the Cochrane Library. Researchers and many doctors firmly believe that it can basically stop the progression of the disease even in the advanced stages. And I have made a full video explaining the practical aspect of this dietary approach. It's up here if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.